Welcome back. Of course, November is a busy time of year with Veterans Day and people gearing up for Thanksgiving and Christmas, of course. So if you're looking for something to do this month with yourself or with the family, don't worry. Visit Albuquerque has you covered. Telling us more about some of the events happening here in the Duke City. We are joined by our good friend Laura Brockway from Visit Albuquerque. Laura, always good to have you with us. Nice to be here today. I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> we're excited too because we can finally map out what we can do for the next few weeks. And mm -hmm. uh, the, it's a long list actually. Long right? list. Yeah, this is just a few. So, yeah. yep. <laughs> so starting out with this one right here, uh, celebrating Veterans Day at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Yeah, so this is one of the best ways to celebrate Veterans Day in the city um, at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. It's um, a really great event, an annual event. Um, it is free for veterans to attend. They'll have cultural dances and speakers and an artisan market, which is going to be great. And while you're there, I highly recommend trying the Indian Pueblo Kitchen. Mm. If you've never eaten there, it's honestly some of the best food in the world, I would say. Really amazing food, so highly recommend it. You couldn't be more right, <laughs> actually. Yeah, and it's, it's a great experience. And uh, it's a great way to, uh, for, so, for those who have never uh, had the chance to go check out the IPCC, uh, that uh, you have that chance and uh, mm -hmm. visit some wonderful folks over there. Oh that, yeah. Uh, experience, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of the experience, we've got the Night Trolley experience. Yes, yeah, so this is a super cool event. They had their first one last month and I was able to attend. So um, it takes place this month on November 10th and November 29th. Or I, I can't remember the second day, I think 24th. And um, you, how it works is you start at the Lapis Room and they'll have drinks and you can shop and then you'll hop on the trolley, the Albuquerque trolley and head downtown to fly by provisions uh, where there's food and uh, it's just a really amazing experience. You get to see the best of Old Town and downtown and it's fantastic, so. Oh, yeah. Yes. And really you cool. let somebody else do the driving and you can just kind of <laughs> relax, right? Yeah, exactly. And there's drinks at each stop, so you know. <laughs> Don't worry about driving. It's great. So. Even better, yeah. <laughs> um, and again, we remind everybody if you're going to be doing something like that, do it responsibly exactly. because when you get back to your car, make sure that somebody else can drive you. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one I think we kind of touched on uh, last week, I think, when we had Dan Morning here. This is going to be the one at uh, Expo New Mexico for the Rio Grande Arts and Crafts Fest. Yes, right? yeah. yeah. So um, this is a really great way to celebrate Black Friday in a way that actually supports Albuquerque um, and the state in general. So it is one of the best art festivals in the Southwest um, art holiday festivals takes place 24th through 26th at Expo New Mexico and you can shop from hundreds of local New Mexican artists. It's really fantastic and it's a great way to find unique gifts that aren't just uh, you know the same thing for everybody else so yes. Perfect timing for it right? Yes exactly yeah. perfect timing. So. <laughs> and, and what's great about this here um, so a few weeks back of course you know the Rio Grande Arts and Crafts Festival it coincides with uh, Bloom Fiesta mm -hmm. and so that's exactly. the one that's uh, over there by uh, I believe Paseo and uh, the freeway. Yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a really great experience and it's nice that you can do it twice a year um, uh, so yeah if you missed it during Bloom Fiesta you can go to this one so. And a whole new round of artists too. Yes so. yeah exactly. <laughs> so in keeping with that the uh, New Mexico Artists and is, is yeah, right? yeah. So this is great because you can actually hit both in the same weekend. Again, it's it's a you know you're shopping from local New Mexican artists, um, and this takes place at Hotel Albuquerque same days, November 24th through the 26th. And again, it's it's a responsible way to celebrate Black Friday, so that way you're supporting the local economy um, and getting unique things for all of the people that you love. So, yes. absolutely, yeah, mm -hmm. and no doubt you're going to find something that's. Uh, Pretty synonymous with the Duke City or New Mexico yes. kind of themed gift. Yes, exactly. So, mm -hmm. pretty Love great. That. <laughs> yep. So the Albuquerque Turkey Trot, what do we have with that? Okay, yes. Yeah. So this one's super fun. I, my family was never a 5K family, but there are plenty of people <laughs> who are 5K families, especially on Thanksgiving. And I think it's kind of cool because then you can eat the rest of the day without worrying about anything else. <laughs> uh, so this is on Thanksgiving at Balloon Fiesta Park, and it's really great for the whole family. They have a 5K and a mile and a tot trot, so even little kids can go and participate. So it's really fun. Um, and again, you can go and celebrate and get a workout in and then eat as much as you want. Ah, so. <laughs> see, and that's what you've been looking out for is our waistline. So, you know, <laughs> inevitably you can eat, have your cake and eat it too. And then exactly. go trot it off with the little ones if you have to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. <laughs> Love that. Laura, where can we go and find more information? Um, abq365.com. There you go. And again, that's a great way that you can make sure that you and the entire family have fun. Leading into Christmas, you know, we want to have that fun going into Thanksgiving, but uh, so many things that we can check out. Laura, thanks again. Thank you so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>